Good afternoon and you're very welcome to the TRM Horsewear National Grand Prix here at Thomastown in Kilkenny. Martin, you're the chairman of the show here and also the landowner. A lot of work goes into the show. Yes, uh, we've been for the last week now, uh, the committee and uh, bringing down the fences and all the usual stuff and the lads behind the scenes, Anya and Gerard behind the scenes with things like that. But um, a lot of work and great committee though. Absolutely. And it's been almost 30 years you've been running the show. Yeah, well, not personally, no. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, we've been involved like as long as I can remember in the show. And uh, it's been down here in this particular field for the last 20 years. And it's our own land, so it's big incentive, you know, to keep going at it. Mm -hmm. um, it it's, as I say, it's a committee and it's a fantastic committee. It's teamwork. Teamwork, exactly, yes. Absolutely. And what what do you do with the with the land when there's not when there's no show here? I would we're bee farmers like so it's plenty of cattle to eat the grass. Okay. So like there's you know, it'll come back in a short time. Bit of rain bit of rain now it'll be fine next week. Yeah, and yeah. it hasn't been running the last couple of years due to bad yeah, weather. Yes, yeah, it's the weather's been bad for a few years now. But um look at it's you're the hands of the gods. So as it's on the shortest area in the year, but we've been lucky, mm -hmm. like as you said, last two years, maybe that's it, but other than that we're flying. And it's a really popular show with all the riders, um, a lot of them came down from the north, from the south, people came here to look at horses, it's it's an extremely popular, and also locals here as well. Yeah, well, like, you need to just look around, like, you can see the scenery here, like, you know, and we're nice people down here as well, <laughs> so that just brings the most... <laughs> Yeah, you know? it's a beautiful yeah. setting and a nice, a nice place to do business. Uh, thank you. Yeah, but as I say, like you know, it's just look around and you see the trees and the valley and the river beside you, like in the castle in the background. It's fantastic. And do you love being involved with the horse show? I do, of course. Yeah, love. I'm well involved with horses all my life, so I'm involved with the show now and that in the committee. So it's great, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And did you, did you ride yourself, or do you produce and do a little bit of selling? Yeah, when I was smaller, I did. Yeah, I did show Jim Can is back that time, and then I turned me into a bit of pint to pint and then breed a few horses now. Always involved in horses. Yeah, so. I'm joined here by Anya, the show secretary. Anya, uh, how do you, you obviously go to other shows around the country, but you're the secretary here. How does this show compare to the centre shows? Well, we're at a disadvantage because the centres can run in all weathers. And as Martin Welsh, the landowner, said previously, we've been very unlucky the last couple of years with bad weather. And riders are getting very very fussy because their horses are very expensive so obviously grass arenas have to be top standard as you can see today the jumping was class the ground here was fantastic and far better on an actual surface and i think the riders would agree with that but obviously we need the centres with the climate that we have here in ireland mm -hmm. but um again it's a committee effort and we have i think 25 on the committee very few of them are involved with horses but they're volunteering their time to keep the show alive and it has been going now for o over 35 years. So it's amazing, you know. And um, do you have sponsors here supporting the show? Yes, we do have local sponsors, but obviously in the current climate, uh, getting what we used to get 10 and 15 years ago is not possible. But all our local pharmacy, pubs, credit unions, all give a little. And Ballygallan Stud, which is based in Innisteeg, which is only five miles down the road, they have helped sponsor the Grand Prix here today. But basically it was efforts of the Thomastown Horse Show that has put up the majority of the prize money. And also great support by, from local riders, quite a few of them here today. Absolutely, and it's great to see that because that's what we want. We want to build the show into bigger and better things. And as, as you can see, yesterday we held our IPS pony showing over by the castle and today we have a huge entry for horse showing classes with very good qualifiers for mares and foals and young horse stock. So it's all a big joint effort with the committee. Dermis, it's a long old trek down the road. Do you enjoy this show? Uh, yes, I, I, we've missed it the last couple of years because of the weather, but uh, it's a great scene, it's a lovely field, and uh, we don't get so many shows out in the country anymore, so it's great. It's good preparation for the rest of the season. Oh well, it's, uh, it's just a bit different, and it, uh, it's a little bit of a breather for the horses to get away from centres all the time, and it's nice. It's a beautiful show here at Thomastown. Do you find uh, you enjoy these type of shows? Yeah, they're great for the horses because um, with the weather we're getting these times, it's very hard to get good ground to jump on grass. And it's very good, especially for the younger horses that we're producing. Uh, it's very hard to get a crowd, you know, and they, they see so much here with the setting. And uh, it actually teaches them an awful lot. It's a pity that we don't get so many more shows like it. but. We've been lucky with the weather, the ground is perfect today and it uh, should be a good class. What's your earliest memory of this show here at Thomastown? 
Um, I'd say as far back as when I was six years old. I probably was here even before that, but that's my earliest memory. Jumped the the 12-2 Grand Prix here at six, and I um, the the funniest thing was when I walked the course. I said to my mum, I said, anything that was too big was above the peak of my helmet. Anything other than that was okay. <laughs> and you enjoy this show? It's great. It's great to see they get the weather, and you know. It, there's a great committee here and they've put fabulous prize money this year so it's great to see a crowd come from all over to, to support it. Yeah, it's, it, there's, a, it, there's a real team effort in this show here today. Um, there's a lot of people involved in it. When did you, when did you start jumping your first Grand Prix here? Uh, first horse Grand Prix, I'd say maybe I jumped two years ago here. Uh, a horse called Cordonis, he was fourth or fifth I think and that was probably my first year to jump the horse Grand Prix here. Pat, you're the course builder here today. You've been doing this a long time. Oh, Amy, I suppose 30 years anyway. Mm. And that in Thomastown, yeah. A lot of family involvement in Thomastown over the years, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of heritage involved in this show. Yeah, I suppose. My sister-in-law is secretary and I have a couple of nephews jumping in the Grand Prix here and hopefully they'll be lucky. You know. It's very unique, the setting, the ground is fantastic. You have riders like Dermot Lennon coming three and a half hours down the road. Why is it so special here? I think over the years, Thomastown, the one thing that they can be very proud of is the going to have, the lovely grass surface. It's very spongy. Uh, unfortunately, if you get wet weather, it actually stops the show, really. Mm. Do you know? But other than that, yeah, it's great.